What's up YouTube, Unruly here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to explain the Gundam Evolution Ranked Match System for you guys today. And on the screen here, you see that they have, um, on the official website, they actually posted the ranks and the uh, some of the rank, not the ranked rewards, uh, but the um, badges and such that have come with the ranks. Um, and in ranked, the MMR or the... Um, point system that goes along it is called rating and here you guys see the rates here we have bronze silver gold platinum diamond masters and new type new type is a special rank that we're going to talk about later in fact i have a um on their official japanese website um or their official twitter account they actually posted the um ratings range for each of the rank sets as well uh, so I'll show that here. Now this is again in their Japanese web, um, off their Japanese Twitter. Okay, so uh, in rough translation, uh, we have the numbers down here, uh, the number values. Uh, so from zero to thirty-four hundred is your bronze range, thirty-four hundred rating. From thirty-four hundred to forty-four hundred, that is your silver rating. From 4400 to 5200 is your platinum uh, is your gold into platinum your platinum rating from 5200 to uh, 5800 uh, that is your platinum rating um, and if you see here um, they're all marked from uh, bronze four three two one silver four three two one and so on and so forth and diamond from 5800 to 6600 is your diamond into master's rating now, anything above a master's rating is called new type. New type is the top 600. Um, underneath my webcam here, you see the 600 here. This is roughly translated to English. It is the top 600 players. Um, it gets the ranked new type. Um, that's like grandmasters or uh, apex predator. Those types of rankings in um, FPS games where you are the top um, X amount. And that's the special rank you get. And that is actually called new type. As you see here, top 600. So after 6,600 uh, rating, the top 600 become and get that new type label. Um, after 6,600, you hit masters. And those rated, those rating matchmaking is um, based off of that. So uh, from what I know um, and from what it's so far, it's bronze matches with bronze, maybe a trickle of silver silver against silver trickle of gold and so forth and so forth um new type and masters are most likely going to get queued together that's what i'm going to assume because everyone's technically masters um in that uh, rating spectrum and then new type is just the top 600 players in the world um that we know of we do not know if it is region based yet we don't know if it is um, well it's most likely going to be um platform based so you'll when console is released they'll probably have their own top 600 new type um, and then top 600 on PC. Again, we don't know if it's region-based yet. Um, I'm sure they'll let you know. Um, but on the official um, English website, they released these ratings. And then the Japanese uh, Twitter actually released those rating ranges here. Now, each of the game modes is um, in Gundam Evolution are all going to be using competitive as well. So we're going to go over those. Um, first, one of the game modes is Point Capture. Um, there is um, two sets of points on the map. Um, basically, it is players divided into attacking and defending teams and proceed to fight for control of objectives. Um, there's two rounds, uh, two different points. Um, you have to attempt to claim the point A, and then you have to attack, capture point B. Uh, the units will attack to, to get enough of the objective. Um, Capturing will start and stay close to the objective um, when people are in there. So if you've played other um, game modes, like um, kind of like Domination or Hardpoint, um, once you capture the point enough, um, you clear the point, and then you move on to the next one. There's percentages um, um, to let you know how far you've captured the point, um, along with a timer. Uh, you get extra time if it's contested. Um, you could either... Um, defending team can win by you running out of time and not capturing the point um, or the attacking team uh, you can actually draw in this game mode too if both teams comp capture conquer both objectives um, and the match will go in overtime if both teams are the same amount of points same suppression rate the match will end in a draw the other game mode um, is domination 
You have to make sure you control um, as many of the objectives at once. Uh, capturing objective A, B, and C within the time limit, team with the most points win. Uh, so when units are given a team near enough of the objective, the capture will start. Um, staying close to the objective to fill the suppression meter. Um, again, it changes, it gives you 60 seconds per hill. Um, and these rotate randomly throughout the map. Um, extra time is given when certain conditions are met where either time expires and there's people on the point. Extra time is the same as well. Victory conditions, first team to win two rounds wins the match. And again, you can go on their official website if I am explaining this too fast and you can check it out yourself. Um, and then the third game mode is called Destruction, which in my opinion is basically like Search and Destroy if you played Call of Duty or like your typical CSGO and Valorant game modes with the bomb. But you have a respawn um, twist to it. Uh, you can, uh, the, there's an attacking and defending team. Uh, the attacking and defending teams um, trade sides. Uh, you have to make sure that you do not, uh, as a defender, you have to make sure the enemy team does not blow up one of the objectives. As the attacker, your goal is to pick one of the objectives and blow them up. There is, uh, I believe, two rounds to this. Each match has two rounds. Um, and at the end of the first round, players will switch sides. Um, as you see here in this diagram, there's two bomb sites, detonation sites. You have to attack and defend those, and they'll flip over to the other ones. Um, now, when the bomb or the uh, mega charge is set, you have X amount of time to defuse that bomb as a defender. So you have the um, ability to kill off the opponent before they're able to plant and then you're able to also defuse um, and continue playing the objective but once they blow up one of those one of uh, those objectives they're able to unlock the next objective and keep on going um arming in mega charge and disarming the mega charge i'm going to show you here a clip right now um in the game mode where i uh, pretty much uh solo wipe a point um and defend the mega charge uh so you'll see that here that's playing on going around right now um, it's a very fun game mode, um, very, very stressful um, because you have multiple ways of winning, multiple ways of losing. Um, if you are getting outslayed and they plant the bomb and they're able to hold that objective, um, it, 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 it gets sweaty. It gets sweaty in the point. Um, but you, with spawns, you pretty much spawn really, really, really close to the objective for the most part on the defending side of things. So it's kind of harder for the attacking team to continuously deal with the waves of respawn. But if you're playing it properly and you're able to hold the point and get that detonation off, all power to you. Victory conditions is the team gain the most points by the end of each round. If both teams have the same number of points, victory will go to the team with the highest activation rate. Activation rate is you planting the bomb. Whoever has the plants the most. Um, if both teams destroy both objectives and the game will go into overtime, if both teams have the same amount of points and the same activation rate, the match will end in a draw. So those are your competitive game modes for Gundam. Again, here are the ratings for each of them. This is on the official website if you want to read more into it. And then again, on the official Japanese uh, Twitter, they actually posted the ratings for them. Again, 0 to 3400 is your bronze, 3400 to 4400 is your silver, 44 to 52 is gold, 52 to 58 is diamond, 6600 and more is masters and the top 600 players again we don't know if it's regional based or if it's just platform based in general is your new type that is your apex predator grandmasters ranking i hope you guys found this video informational i hope you guys are excited for gun evolution as much as i am and i'll see you guys in the rank matches peace